Okay, so this is the spread after the um, pumps pulled apart and the motor, etc., for a P320 Viron. The reason I'm doing this is because I searched everywhere and I was going to be paying $1,200 for a new pump and motor together, or I paid $60 for two bearings. Uh, a mechanical seal which you will need and two bags of salt to chuck in the pool while I'm doing this. So the reason it happens is because this little oops, sorry this little uh, mechanical seal here that goes and there's the new one you'll need one of those and then that goes into the bearing which is housed in here and as you can see it's all deteriorated and so it just basically stuffs the bearing. Um, these little screws are all buggered as well. They took a little bit of getting out with a hammer and a screwdriver very very patiently but I got them out. I'll have to replace those as well. And yeah, the bearings that you'll need. <clears throat> you'll probably only need one of them. Sorry, that's uh, I'll put the details up there you go. I'll put the details up on site anyway. I'm just going to replace the whole lot while it's all apart because I've had this apart twice now to sort of have a look and work out. Can I do it cheaper than $1200? So the whole lot basically is going to cost me 60. Um, there's a bloke on YouTube that has already done this on a new motor which is obviously a hell of a lot easier than one that they've designed so that it slowly rusts out and the bearing goes and we just replace it with a new motor for 1200 bucks instead of $60 um, so these are the parts really the tools that I used uh, as below uh, you'll need a 8mm which I've in here for the, the uh, motor bolts that go through the motor and come out they were rusted as well so be really careful of those and the outside of the socket was needs to be really thin so that it can actually go around the nut because of the housing um, sort of interferes with the with the socket um, the rest of it is actually quite easy so the screws actually I'll go back um, the little fan took a little bit of getting off because the back of the shaft was rusted as well because of the water um, so I had to clean that up and I just use a bit of inox but you can use whatever you want I sprayed up the motor left it for a night or two just to get things moving and you're supposed to use a bearing puller you don't have to because the bearings are going to come off anyway and you're not going to be reusing them so I used a hammer and a lump of wood which you'll need so that the shaft sits on the lump of wood um, I'm sure most people will understand but if you're going to knock the bearing off I sit it there so it doesn't damage the shaft or the thread on the other side and that's it really, and just for a little bit of sanity along the way I had myself a beer. But um, yeah, so now I'm going to tidy this all back up, clean all the, the front of that up, which is, it's salvageable, but um, we've had this now for three and a half years, so the warranty's three years, so it works out perfect so that the, um, Obviously the mechanical seal goes, there doesn't seem to be any telltale hole to say that the water's now leaking into your bearing of the motor. Um, so it's obviously designed to fail. But you can replace it all with those little bits there and um, it really does come apart quite easily. So a bit of patience and um, I'll put uh, any extra details on the basically below this video um, there's a yeah like I said there's another fella that's um, already done this but on a new motor and it's really well done so I'm not going to um, rehash all this and redo it all 
I'll just uh, put all the details here and you can have a squeeze and um, yeah, hope it saves you a few dollars.